guys, what is up? Welcome back to the best show on the internet. This is Weird Products. So today we actually have some really cool products to review. If you don't remember the last episode, make sure to go give that a watch right now. But for this episode, I'm going to be reviewing two products for the first time. And the main focus of this video is a rubberized keyboard that's bendable. And before we get to that, we have our first pre-product, which we're going to kind of be reviewing and doing that. So let's first get into our product. So it is a Morpheus 360 headphone. So these retail for around $15. Um, I've already unboxed them, but the box design, not the best, but it's, it's pretty average, pretty good. Um, it has a built-in microphone, wireless connectivity via Bluetooth 5.0. You can put in a micro SD card and basically use it as an MP3 player. It has touch media controls, um, one touch media controls. Um, so all the good features that you expect to be in high-end like, um, like wireless headphones, but they kind of suck. Now, of course, what would you expect for $15? However, I did get these for free, kindly, from Micro Center. Sadly, I'm not sponsored. Why are we still here? Just suffer. Make sure to subscribe so you can get sponsored. Um, so I can then give away PCs to pe people like you. People like you, you want free PC, right? Subscribe! Subscribe, okay. Um, but the main problem I have with these is just the the comfort in your ear. Like, it's they don't fit at all. And even when I, I have to like make them the biggest size, which makes them like just look terrible. And of course, like these aren't like your gaming headset, like premium quality aluminum like headphones. No, these cheap plastic. At least it's matte black. Like the finish, even though it's not the best like quality. It does get fingerprints pretty easily. Um, it's, it's decent. It's decent. It's decent. And one an another annoying problem is when you're switching between Bluetooth mode or powering off, um, basically it has a super cringy, ah, uh, like noise. And it's it's like this voice, and it's just switching in between. Like if you want to put a voice, make it blank. Like don't make it something like super cringy. Don't or don't even put a voice at all. Like if you have to put a voice, make it something that's good. Like, not something like cringe like this, and, well, it's cringe. And, let's give it a sound test. So, for a sound test, um, instead of having to go through the hassle of putting it through Bluetooth, got my MP3 player, trusty, good old MP3 player. I know it's an old piece of tech, but, yeah. So, I'm going to grab some song. Which song? Which song is going to try to figure out? Okay. So wait, I'm gonna see what what song should I put? Fire up. Okay. So how about um, never going to give you up. This is a good one. Okay. Okay. So pretty average. Oh, oh. you want some of that Rickroll? You want you want some of that Rickroll, bro? You you want some of that Rickroll? That, that's good. Okay. Enough rec rolling for now. Um, but that besides, the sound quality actually is pretty good. Now, with all the good features it has hardware-wise and, of course, like, there's definitely headphones better than it. But the thing is, for what it is, like, if there was just a better casing, more comfortable, like, a little bit bigger earmuffs, more, like, marketed to everyone, a little better build quality... I feel like it would definitely be like perfect value headphones and maybe even like up it to a price of 25 I'll still pay for it. Um, but it, they're just so small and the outside so cheap that just ruins the entire thing with all the good features they have. Now I'm definitely going to have to use these for something but I'm not sure so that's about it for the review. Controls do work, um, very simple, build quality, bad. Sound quality is average, but if you do have like smaller ears or if you really need a headset that has all these features but you, you don't have that much money and you only like small budget, I guess they can work. Wouldn't recommend it though. Again, you can find it at Micro Center. That's where I got these. Not sponsored. Okay, so let's get to our final product. So, move this. Foldable 
keyboard. The beloved, the wavy, rubberized keyboard. So, this thing, well, it's not the best. So, taking it mobile. But as you can see, no switch noise at all. Like, you really got really want to hear noise so of course that's not what it's meant for but it, what it's mainly designed for is for mobile devices like iPads iPhones smartphones specific things like that with this Bluetooth connectivity making it simple and easy to basically type with it so that's cool um, and it's completely rubberized so they actually on the outside it's completely sealed there's no keycaps it's completely sealed as you can see right there but they say that it's completely waterproof and dustproof so let's test that <laughs> so to test this you'd think any normal person just would just use some simple water maybe dunk it in for a few seconds well we're using chemicals why? I, I literally have no idea. I, we're no productions. Let's let's go. Let's go. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers. This is what gets you. Putting putting the Mr. Clean chemicals on this thing. Okay, okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Give it a nice spray. Nice spray. Um, and even though the electronic housing it does have spacing, we're gonna give it one spray. One one just a little spray. Okay. So now Use your trusty old shirt, and I, if I did have a merch line, I would say, oh, you can get a giant shirt for yourself at um, nerdproductionstore.com, but we don't have enough subscribers. Subscribe if you want some gamer merch. Not sponsored. Yes. Okay. But going to dry it off with my shirt. Still a little wet. Still very wet. Basically, the one thing I did notice, though, is that the water lava is actually staying stuck inside the crevices in between the keys. Now that's a big problem. Oh, should I say, Mr. Clean? Um, oh, uh, 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 Mr. Clean Chemicals. Yeah, totally safe, totally safe. Um, but yeah, so we have that. Can it type? Can it type? this typing document pulled up right here select right there wait is our keyboard turned on oh it's not so turn it back on light shows up should be connected and it types so now um I told you about what I was able to see on um, based off that but it's a decent keyboard so of course switch quality not the best but I know you're all thinking can a game? Um, with any keyboard, you can game on it. It works for Windows, iOS, Android, all that. So you could use it for mobile gaming if you want, um, um, PC gaming. But of course, I would not prefer this. I do not want to test it with that. Of course, it can work, but I don't think you're going to get any crazy performance. And for all you those crazy people that like ergonomic keyboards, well, you can make it and fold it. So you can be like da 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 and type like this so you want to type like this <sighs> yeah you can you can fold it into any shape you want and customize your type um, yeah of course it's not designed with ergonomics in mind because it doesn't have any stand it's completely fat on the ground so uncomfortable to type a bit but it works so yeah let me tell you something the reason that we um, I actually bought this keyboard, well, this key keyboard was actually bought, was for my brother. Now, if you, if you don't know, my brother, well, he, he fidgets, and he destroys things. Like, you don't even want to see his old keyboard. It it was an amazing keyboard. It got destroyed. He, he demolished it. So, yeah. So, one day I was rocking in Micro Center, and I saw, um, again, not sponsored. Subscribe so we can get sponsored. Only a small percentage of you are subscribed. But one day I was micro walking in Micro Center and I saw one of that looked exactly like this, but it didn't have Bluetooth. It was marketed specifically towards Windows, so towards Windows devices or like a Mac. It used USB. So, but then I was like, oh, my brother, he needs one. So he used on his iPad. And yeah, but this still works on Windows, so that's cool. 
but no um, now but here's the big test is it is it grab proof now this if this term you may not understand but I'm gonna start using it in a bit of my videos because if it is grab proof it's a good product so why, why don't we get our bro my brother in here to test this out and then do a bit of typing on it so hey, hey bro hey okay um sadly I, I can't show his face has not done a face reveal yet here can you come in can you come in you can talk okay so it's not my face it's not in your face okay so there's a chance as you can see he's fidgeting with it okay um that's it's that's a little too much what there okay okay i think that's enough fidgeting did you start circuit out the bird i'm not sure there's one way to test this type okay wait 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 Hi. okay oh my gosh it is great proof I think that this is the only product I've ever seen in the world that's actually grip proof. I can't believe it. So, so, so what do you think? Will, will this keyboard work out for you? Yeah, I think it's awesome. If uh, if you're very fidgety with vertical keyboards, you should actually get this because this keyboard would be for you. And it's actually a really cool keyboard. Yeah, I have not uh, actually said where I got from yet. I actually got for Best Buy. It retails for around twenty dollars, so it's not that expensive. But it's actually a really cool piece of technology. Ooh, yeah, <sighs> typing. So all the keys work. Yeah, yeah. It did bend a little bit, and I did like hear something, but that's just because of how like flexible this thing actually is, and it will it will actually make noise that are gonna get you worried. But that's just because of how flexible the board actually is in there, and how flexible the components is. So. Is that a good test, or do you want to leave, bro? Yeah, I want to leave. Okay. So. Okay. So, that was it. We reviewed some cool products. Finally, we reviewed two products. I'm hoping maybe next time we could review a bit more. Maybe, like, three or even four or five. I don't know. But, as we grow, um, I'm going to try to make better videos. And I hope you have enjoyed this one. And make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below um, what you enjoyed about this. But yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Um, if you do want have any recommendations, I know this wasn't based off a specific store or anything. I do want to do stuff like that, weird stuff from specific stores. But a lot of times it's your it's easier to find things like on like different things or random things. But um, if you do want to send some stuff over, um, you can contact me by email and I could like get a sponsorship set up or something. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Only a small percentage of you who watch these videos are actually subscribed. So if you're not already, just click that subscribe button. It's easy. You can un always unsub later. But yeah, so thank you for watching. Make sure to just um, comment down below which one was your favorite. And also like this video. I know that this is really annoying, but I'm trying to grow. We're trying to grow together and to help the Nerd Productions community just to grow and just to become something more. Now, thank you so much for watching. That's just about it. No. I'm leaving now. Bye.